Joyce Holman remembers her days of attending Lincoln School back in the 1950s, and she remembers Chuck Overton as well. He got his musical start at Lincoln School. Overton and Holman are just a couple of the people who attended Lincoln School and are now working to bring it back to life. Holman says she has plenty of memories from when she was a student. In fact, the school dates back to the 1920s, and it's touched many lives. Yes, it does. I uh, was a first grade student here, and I was the very last class to attend this school. And uh, every time I walk in this building, I feel like I'm getting a hug. The old Lincoln School is one of the last segregated schools that's still standing in the area. Overton and Holman have worked together along with the nonprofit group to get the school renovated and serve as a piece of Vandalia history. In fact, you can still see parts of the old classrooms. It's been on the National Register of Historic Places since 1997. Well, I started school here from the first grade on and got my foundation for education and work ethic here and started learning music here where I learned to play the piano and learned to sing. Now if you'd like to help the concerned citizens to save Lincoln 